So, uh, good morning. Morning. This is Joe Burrow. Who's in St. Louis? What's your name? Easton. What's your name? Easton. 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 Hi. Yes. Easton. Do you know who this guy is? He just won the Heisman Trophy. He's the best football player in college in this country. Did you know that? Yeah. Do you have Do you have a question for him? <laughs> oh, no, that's not right. <laughs> I have I have an assignment for you. You ready? Yeah. How's your How's your singing voice today? Good. This guy just had a birthday, so could you sing Happy Birthday? Sure. All right, ready? On three. One, two, three. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Joe. Thank you so much, Jason. I appreciate it. Okay. What's your birthday, Joe? It was it was a couple of days ago. Wait, how old are you? Twenty-three. Twenty-three. 23, getting old. <laughs> how Easton, old how old are you? How old are you, Easton? I'm six. Seven. Six? Seven. Seven. I forget sometimes, too. <laughs> <laughs> Joe was just telling us before that he first started really loving football when he was only a couple of years older than you. I would have been around nine years old when I started playing. I was in third grade when I started playing football. I'm already playing football. You are? Well, you got, you're ahead of the game then. How do you fit all that hair under a helmet? <laughs> I don't need the helmet. <laughs> I, I had long hair in the summer too. I, I just cut it for the season actually. So did you know that uh, Joe has some older brothers and they were – kind of an inspiration to him but his dad was a football coach for a long long time and we he finished at ohio university so that was one of the reasons that he really loved playing football is that his family was all now you have you have going back generations yeah people that were like basketball players and stuff can you tell us a little bit about your grandmother? She's yeah, a basketball so player. my grandmother scored 82 points in a basketball game in high school, and my grandfather played basketball at Mississippi State. So you got good genes. Yeah. Great genes. That's, That's awesome. Yeah. Now, what what was the highest level of basketball that you played? I played all the way through high school. You did? And they, they, they said I could have played in college. Um, I could have played football and basketball, but you know I decided to just, just focus on the football thing. Now, do you play any other sports besides football? Baseball, basketball, and soccer. Wow. Wow. That's awesome. I played. I, I grew up playing baseball as well. And I, before I started playing football, I played soccer too. Do you think that that helped you play in all different sports? Yeah. yeah I think it, absolutely. I think, yeah, I think it made me a better athlete. I know a lot of times people kids to specialize in one sport yeah. from third grade. And I don't know if that, that's no, a good thing. I don't think that is a good thing. You know, I think it's awesome that you're playing all those sports because I think it, if you do want to play uh, at the college level, I think it will help you. Find what you love to do. If, if it's soccer, baseball, basketball, football, music, you know, whatever, whatever. Just try a bunch of different things. Find what you love. Now, do you play a musical instrument? I can play the guitar, yeah. You can? I can. Now, when did you pick that up? I was, I think I was in fifth grade when I started doing that. Really? Yeah. That's great. Do you have a band or do you just no, play? No, I don't have a band, yeah. <laughs> I can play the guitar. You can? We should play together, we should play together sometime. What What number do you wear, Easton, on your football team? What number jersey do you have? Seven. Seven? Wow, that's pretty close. Yeah, that's an awesome number. That's uh, 
at LSU, that's given to the to the best playmaker on on offense or defense. <laughs> I'm good at defense. Are you? What 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 position do you play? Um, outside. Outside, awesome. Yeah. So you're fast, huh? Little, yeah. It's awesome. Do you have any advice for a kid that's in the hospital now that is trying to figure out a way to keep their spirits up? And, you know, uh, what do you do to keep your spirits up if sometimes you don't feel that great? Yeah, just, just keep fighting, man. And if you have if you have a great family, lean on them. Lean on your friends. I have, I have, a, I have a great you know, friend group that, that I talk to every day that helps me. Do you have a favorite breakfast cereal, Easton? Chocolate. 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 That's not cereal. <laughs> Don't you eat like weenies or something? A big guy like you? Fruit Loop. <laughs> I, I like fruit loops with marshmallows. Yes. Yeah. How did it feel to win that trophy? It was crazy. <laughs> Growing up, I watched it. You know, people in my position up there on the stage and, and giving the speech and lifting the trophy. So it was it was crazy to me. What do you feel is the best? Uh, so as a parent, he is my athletic one, uh, and I want to support him in any way. And same with his dad. What is the best way to be supportive but not overbearing? Yeah, that's a good question. You know, I think. My parents did a good job of, of letting me do what I want to do. You know, when I first started playing soccer, I was they, they have a story that I just stood in the middle of the field with my hands in my pocket and just watched the game go by. And so they, they were worried I wasn't gonna be a very competitive person, but you know, they just let me be who I wanted to be, and it turns out that I was a football player. So you know what's gonna happen in about a week and a half is Joe's going to lead his team in the Peach Bowl, okay? And that's a playoff game for a college football championship. If they win, they might play the school that he graduated from. And is that the first time that would have ever happened? Yeah, I think so. So I, I started my career at Ohio State and, and didn't get the opportunity to play, so I transferred to LSU. And we have an opportunity to meet in the National title game if we both win our games. So – does it does that what your interest? Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm I mean, still, of Ohio State. Yeah, I still, I'm LSU. I still have a, a bunch of really good friends on that team, so it would be really weird playing against them. Thank you. That's great. And and what is your interest in what do you what are your so I, I got my I got my undergrad in, in consumer family finance. Um which is like banking, that kind of stuff. So you're good in math. I'm good in math, yeah. That's great. Easton, you good in math? Yeah. That was always my favorite subject, and as well as science. I like science. I like math a lot. Yeah. Hey, Joe, could you uh, give us your insight about the important role that Coach Organon played in your development? He seems like a wonderful coach. Yeah, Coach O is a great guy. You know, he's not just a great coach. He, he's, you know, I trust Coach O with my life, and, you know, he's been, he's, he's meant the world to me. Are you aware of the nine? So I was I grew up being number ten and number ten was taken at LSU, so number nine was the closest to that. <laughs> what do you do in your free time? I play video games. You know, I've been I've been playing a lot of Pokemon, uh the new one on the Nintendo Switch going uh, around on these planes, so I like playing Pokemon. I barely play video games. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what I that's what I've always liked to do. Hey Easton, you get a if you go to Auburn, okay? And you you be successful. That's that's the most important thing, all right? You have fun, you study. This is a good role model. It's the guy who studies and he's a very good athlete. So you go ahead and you get yourself better. And get yourself well. We want to see your name one day holding this big trophy behind me, okay? Thank you. It was awesome meeting you, Easton. Thank you so much. Thank you.